The candy table is finally a candy table. Check this out. All right, let's go. Long awaited. The candy table is finally a candy table. You saw yesterday, I put the flood coat on there. And now we got to get the drips off and put some legs on. But is it going to work? You're damn right it's going to work. All right, so I'm just sanding the drips off of the back of here. I'm going to contact my client to see what color they want the bottom to be. Um, I'm thinking just uh, black or white, something like that. And here I am opening up my 16-inch hairpin legs. I add these by default unless the order specifies, like, bigger legs, chunkier legs. Um, so this is a four-pack, but I only need three. But if round tables is what I'm going to be doing, then I guess it'll work out in the end. Yeah, sure. <laughs> All right, so I am marking the spots for my screws. And then I need to make sure what screws I'm going to use because if I would have used the ones that came with it, it would have went all the way through the color into the candy and shown through the other side. Always measure before you do it. I promise you that my first time ever making a table, I did that. I promise I did that. So don't do it. Don't be like me. You're better than me. You're better than me. All right, so I'm just drilling the holes for the screws and we're gonna get them in there. I'm so excited. I knew I could do it. I just thought I might have to do a different one and this would be a wall art. So it worked. And here you go. These are the little rubber protectors. Do you wanna see it? Finally, a candy table. Ah! <laughs> Look at it. OMG. How cute is that? And she's sturdy, boy. 